students from Georgetown Day. Paul the Sixth. And Washington International School meet today on It's Academic. Hello everybody, I'm Hillary Howard. Welcome to It's Academic, now in its 61st season, thanks to title sponsor David M. Rubenstein, encouraging you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. And thanks to our platinum sponsor, MITRE. MITRE is a bridge and convener of government, industry, and academia, bridging together the whole of nation to tackle some of the biggest challenges of the 21st century. And now we can get to the teams. First folks we meet are from Georgetown Day School in Washington, DC. Hello, Julius, what, we, what should we know about you? Hi, I'm Julius. I'm an 18 year old senior at Georgetown Day School. And one thing about me is that I play various instruments, including flute, marimba, drum set, and various types of hand drums. Wow, that's really cool, love that. And uh, Hank, what are you up to? Hi, I'm Hank Schwabacher. I'm a senior at Georgetown Day School and I love playing quiz bowl. We're very happy to hear that. We just call it It's Academic, but you know, Quiz Bowl It's Academic, same thing. And uh, Pierce, tell us about yourself. Hello, I'm Pierce DeCane. I'm an 18-year-old high school senior at Georgetown Day School. Um, I love to read and write. Oh, beautiful. I like to write too and read. Okay, guys, let's do this. In this round, as you know, questions are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer, so that's good. Here's your first question. Take one word from each column and you can name what tourist attraction, the symbol of St. Louis. Conferring, conferring the Gateway Arch, conferring. Yep, correct. okay, final, final answer, Gateway Arch. Gateway Arch is correct. Lone aims. If you aim to get 20 points, you can get what name for the smiling Leonardo da Vinci portrait, sometimes called La Gioconda? Um, Mona Lisa? Uh, yeah, 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 I think, yeah, that sounds right. Fi final answer, Mona Lisa. Yeah, it's Mona Lisa. Blank thumb, blank house effect. Fill these spaces with what same color to identify a talented gardener and an atmospheric effect that contributes to global warming. Conferring green. Green. Green conferring, yeah. Final answer, green. Yeah, it's green. Atlantic Ocean, Gulf of Mexico, Pacific Ocean. Which one of these bodies of water touches the shores of the most U.S. states? Probably Confer Atlantic Ocean. Uh, uh, yeah, Atlantic conferring Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. It's Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean, yeah, it's right. Whoever is happy will make others happy too. These words come from the diary of what young Jewish girl who tried being happy while hiding from the Nazis during World War II? Conferring, conferring Anne, Anne Frank. Frank. Anne Frank, for, yep. final answer, Anne Frank. Yes, it was Anne Frank. Well done, Georgetown Day. You've got 200 points. Time to meet the team from St. Paul the Sixth Catholic School in Chantilly, Virginia. Hey, Mike, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Mike Hess. I'm a junior at Paul the Sixth, and I play the alto saxophone and on varsity football. Cool. What favorite music do you like with your sax? Jazz guy? J jazz. Awesome. We're a big jazz house. Hey, Sophia, we obviously know you like learning. What else interests you? Uh, I'm really into film and uh, filmmaking, film analysis, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Wow, what's your favorite film, if there is one? Uh, either Amadeus or um, the third Lord of the Rings movie. Beautiful. Well, it's great to have you here. And Joe, what about you? What are your interests? I'm Joe, Joseph Moran. I'm a junior at PBI, and I fence. You fence. I've always wanted to fence. Very cool. All right, guys, here we go. Um, your opening round. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. First question. Take one word from each column and you'll name what 14,000 foot mountain in Colorado. I can freak everyone. Sounds good. Yep. It's Pike's Peak. Cab Mat Company. I've never heard of this company. So see if you can rearrange the letters to name what type of underground burial vaults, such as those in ancient Rome. Confer catacomb. Yeah. Sounds good. Catacomb. Catacomb it is. Swamp blank, desert blank. To complete nicknames given to Revolutionary War hero Francis Marion and German General Rommel 
add what same sly animal? Confirm. Rat. Rat. Yeah. Rat. No, it's fox. Here's your next question. Cape Horn, Cape Hatteras, Cape of Good Hope. The Rocky Mountains are a part of a mountain system that stretches from Alaska to which of these capes at the tip of South America? Confer. Um, what do you think of Cape Horn? I'm thinking Horn. Cape Horn. Good thinking. It's Cape Horn. Here's your last question. A white town drowsing in the sunshine. This was Mark Twain's description of his Missouri hometown, named for what Carthaginian general who brought elephants across the Alps? Confer Hannibal. Yeah. Hannibal. Yeah. yeah. Hannibal it is. Nice job, Paul the Sixth, 180 points. Time to meet the team from Washington International School, which, as you would imagine, is in Washington, D.C. Maya is the captain. How you doing, Maya? Hi, Hillary. I'm Maya. I am a 16-year-old junior at Washington International School, and I'm doing great. I'm looking forward to this competition. Wonderful. You into anything special at school? Yes, I love working on our school newspaper, the International Dateline, so make sure to check it out. Beautiful. I will, as a news person myself. Sumner, what should we know about you? Um, well, I'm Sumner. Uh, I'm also a junior. Uh, and in my free time, I like to play uh, the electric bass and guitar um, in my school's band, as well as a band outside of school. Cool. And what do you like to play? Jazz, rock? Uh, all sorts of stuff. Just, all sorts just of stuff. For. Nice. Now, Zach, we were talking off camera, so I already know you're funny. <laughs> what else do you like? <laughs> Both sides humor. Yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm Zachary. I'm a 17 year old junior at WIS, and I like to debate outside of school. Ah, very nice. All right, guys, let's do this. Here's your first question. Choose one word from each column and you can name what ancient Roman venue where chariot races took place. Conferring. Coliseum? Or um, I'd say... Okay, one from each column. Sumner, any ideas? Uh, so, circus is... Agora is at the an market. Answer, guys. Uh, okay, um, Circus Maximus. Circus, yes, yeah, Maximus. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Step on wit. We don't want to discourage wit, clearly. But you can rearrange the letters in this phrase to identify what U.S. military academy in New York. Conferring. West Point? Yeah, it is West Point. I grew up not too far from there. San Juan blank breeds blank. Please fill in the blanks with what same word to name the place where a major battle occurred during the Spanish-American War and an early American Revolutionary War site. Conferring. Uh, point? Need an answer, please? Bay? Um, Should we do Bay? Yeah, final okay. answer, Bay. Bay. It's Hill, San Juan Hill and Breeds Hill. Here's your next question. Mali, Morocco, Angola. From which of these African countries would you have the shortest possible flight to Europe? Uh, Conferring. Morocco. Bring Morocco. Yeah. Morocco. Morocco is right. Nice. The ultimate goal is Mars. These were the words of what man who had already been to the moon and was the second man to walk on its surface? Uh, Buzz Conferring. Alton. Uh, yeah, yes. Buzz Aldrin. Yes. Buzz Aldrin is Final the right answer, answer. Buzz, Buzz Aldrin. Perfect. Yes, it's Buzz Aldrin, which gives you a score of 180 points. Don't go anywhere because the picture perfect round is next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference.
Time for the picture perfect round. In this round, as you know, questions are worth 20 points up or down. 10 points off if you don't answer. Okay, Georgetown Day, it's picture perfect time. Here's the first clue. The Northern Lights, which you see here, are also referred to with what two word Latin name? Conf Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. Yep. Yep. Final answer, Aurora Borealis. Yeah, they're so beautiful. These ruins are located in what small North African country situated between Libya and Algeria? Conferring um, Tunisia. Tunisia. Yep, final Tunisia. Yes, it is. Used to produce iridescent effects on porcelain. This is the acetate of what element whose atomic number is 48? Um, is this no answer if we don't know it. Oh, okay. Maybe I don't cat. Think I don't, yeah. think we, I don't think we know it. I don't think uh, we know we it. We don't know answer. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think you were close. It's cadmium. <laughs> Sorry, Julius. <laughs> Credit for knowing it, but just not saying it. <laughs> Most of these crew members were killed when what American warship was blown up in Havana Harbor in 1898? Inferring the USS Maine? Yep, yes. Final answer, the USS Maine. Yeah, you got that one. Good job, Georgetown Day. 250 points. Paul the sixth, it's picture perfect time. Here's the first clue. This is the World War I railroad car where the Germans surrendered to French Marshal Foch on November 11th in what year? 1918, everyone. 1918. 1918, it is. Good, good job. One of the finest natural harbors in the world, this is Diego Suarez Bay, that indents what large island off the east coast of Africa? Madagascar. Madagascar is right. Yep. The red square here covers what element used in super magnets and able to detect magnet material in the ink in counterfeit money. Its symbol is ND. What is, you guys think of neodymium? Yep. Yeah. Right, neodymium? It's neodymium. Yeah. Oh. These art treasures survived the bombing and firestorm that engulfed what German city in February of 1945, killing approximately 25,000 people? What do you think, Berlin? Uh, or pass, it's up to you. Yeah, we'll, we'll pass. Pass. Yeah, the answer is Dresden. Very nice job, Paul VI. You have got 230 points. Washington International School, time for the picture perfect round. Your first question. It is fitting that this statue of the pioneer is located in what West Coast state at the end of a famous trail bearing its name? Conferring. Oregon? Oregon. Yeah, Oregon trail. Trail of Oregon, yeah. Oregon trail. You've got it. Oregon. It is Oregon. Nice. This is what European city, the capital of the Czech Republic. Conferring. Final answer, Prague. Prague is right. HFC. Used to absorb neutrons in nuclear reactor control rods, this is the carbide of what element whose atomic number is 72 and whose symbol is HF? Conferring. Sumner, any ideas? Hafnium. Hafnium. Yeah. Hafnium. Hafnium it is. Nicely done. These musical instruments were used by musicians of what Native American tribe whose chiefs included Cochise and Geronimo? Conferring. I don't Na know. Navajo, I don't know. I just okay, can't. let's, let's, oh wait, um, should we pass? I need an answer, guys. Uh, the, the answer is Apache. Washington International School, 230 points. You already know these students don't do this alone. We're going to meet the coaches and faculty that prepares them for the competition next. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know that after he left the presidency, Ulysses S. Grant, while suffering from cancer, wrote his memoirs in order to provide financially for his family? And the man who made sure Grant was offered a good publishing deal and provided literary advice was Mark Twain. Grant's memoirs are now considered among the best presidential memoirs, and evidence indicates that he did all of the writing himself. I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. 
You already know these students are smart and very capable, but they've got a team to help them prepare for its academic. Julius, why don't you introduce them? Sure. So um, here with us today, we have uh, Laura Yi, assistant head of school at GDS. And hi. And we also have um, our coaches, uh, Abe Pachikara and Sue Eikenberry. And our two alternates, Isaac and Ben. So this really is a whole crew you brought with you today. Well, since you uh, introduced Ms. Yi first, Ms. Yi, why don't you tell us what it's like to have its academic in such a prominent place in the school? So lucky. It's always a pleasure to be around our students. They always impress me, and uh, they're such great ambassadors of our school. Thank you for having us. Thank you for being here, Mr. Pachikara. Good to see you again. How do you like this crew of students? This crew of students is phenomenal. They're great, they're hardworking, and I'm so glad to see them shine right now. Beautiful. Ms. Eikenberry, you've been doing this a long time. <laughs> yeah, tell us about this team. Oh, they're a great bunch of people. It's all new this year. Uh, nobody was on before. So uh, we've had a lot of fun sort of getting ready. Uh, and the, the two alternates uh, have come to so many practices and have been uh, just a terrific asset. Fabulous. Speaking of the alternates, Isaac, how do you like being on the team? Hi, I'm Isaac and I'm a freshman. I'm 14 years old and I really love playing competitive tennis. Nice. And Ben, tell us about yourself. All right. I mean, my name is Ben, a 14 year old, 14 year old, go to GDS, big baseball nerd. And I, just, <laughs> and I love trivia in general. So, you know, this uh, uh, it's academics really fun for me. It's your wheelhouse. All righty, thank you, Ben and Isaac and Ms. Eikenberry, Mr. Pachikara and Ms. Yi. And now, Georgetown Day, let's talk about this packet round, huh? Uh, questions are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer. And if you get them all right, there's a 25 point bonus. So let's go. In composer Camille Sasson's Carnival of the Animals, Two pianos are used to portray what high-hopping Australian marsupials? Conferring a kangaroo. kangaroo. Directed. Fi final answer, kangaroo. Kangaroo is right. Not only did astronomer William Herschel discover the planet Uranus, he also found two new moons circling what other planet sixth from the sun? Um, conferring, I believe it to be Saturn. I think Saturn too. Yeah, that sounds right. Saturn, final answer. Saturn it is. Here's your science question. Gallium, radon, promethium. Which of these is a synthetic rare earth element made in nuclear accelerators and nuclear reactors? Its atomic number is 61. It sounds like it'd be radon. That's radon. Right. I was thinking promethium, actually. If you think it's that. Go with promethium. Yeah, final promethium. Good choice. It's promethium. A panel of experts chose Albert Einstein as the most important scientist of the last thousand years. Runner-up was what 16th century Polish astronomer who said the sun was the center of our solar system. Is it, uh, is it inferring? Need an answer, guys. Copernicus, Italian. Oh, yeah, Copernicus. That sounds right. Let's go Copernicus. The answer is the answer is Copernicus. Nice. The Snake's Pass was the first novel by what author who slithered to literary success in 1897 with Dracula? Um, Conferring, it's Stoker. I believe it's Stoker. Okay, yeah. Um, final answer, Stoker. Bram Stoker, you're right. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Conferring, five. I think it's just five. five. Yeah, I believe five. five. Yeah, five is right. F final five. Five is right. And your final question. Nestled in the foothills of the Himalayas, one of the world's most picturesque cities is what capital of Nepal? Inferring Kathmandu. Go final with it. Yeah, final Kathmandu. Yeah, it's Kathmandu, which means you got every single one of those questions right. A 25 point bonus and a score of 415 points. So you often hear us talk about the team behind the team. Well, Paul VI has like a huge crew also today. So let's meet him. Mike, introduce us. 
We have our two coaches, Mrs. Ravor and Dr. Campbell. We also have our principal, Dr. Opfer, and our assistant's principal, Mrs. Hanley. Wonderful. Well, why don't we start with the coaches? Uh, hello, Ms. Ravor. This is a pretty good team. Tell us about them. Yeah, it's a fairly young team. Mike was with us last year as a sophomore, um, but Joe and Sophia are new this year. And as is Dr. Campbell, who just joined our faculty and um, has been amazing getting these guys ready. Awesome. Mr. Campbell, what inspires you about these, this team? Well, I'm, uh, I'm very new to the school uh, and they are very enthusiastic, uh, very receptive to new ideas, very knowledgeable, very quick. Uh, this is the second time I've, uh, the second school I've been able to do uh, its academic coaching with. So I'm excited to see what, uh, what happens in the future. Beautiful. Ms. Henley, how does it um, help the school, this team? Any time our school can receive any sort of notoriety, particularly being on something like It's Academic, it is a win for everyone. Beautiful. And Dr. Opfer, being the head of school there, the principal, what do you think this team does to enhance the school experience for everyone? Uh, this, these students are so wonderful in modeling the values of our school and showing everyone the growth and grace and wisdom. That is really lovely, Dr. Opfer. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Ms. Hanley, Dr. Campbell, Ms. Ravor, thank you. And now let's turn it over to the team for the packet round. Ready, guys? Here's your first question. In the designation of John F. Kennedy's boat, PT-109, the T stood for what projectile usually launched by submarines? Conferring torpedo. Torpedo, yeah. Torpedo. It is torpedo. Perhaps it's not surprising that the word towers is the preferred term for groups of what tallest animals? Contract. Giraffes. Yep. Yeah. Giraffes with those long, elegant necks. Here is your science question. Io Titan Phobos. Which of these moons orbits the planet Saturn? Conferring Io? Phobos. Phobos? No, yeah, both Phobos. Phobos? Phobos. Yeah. You know what? It was the one you didn't mention. It's Titan. <laughs> Here's your next question. Two climbers climbed into the record books in 2002 when, for the 100th time, they scaled El Capitan, the landmark in what California National Park? Confer. Uh, Yellowstone. Yeah, I think so. Right. Yellowstone. The answer is the other Y. It's Yosemite. Mm. Title characters are not always heroic. What jealous title character killed his wife Desdemona in a Shakespeare tragedy? Confer. Any Do you ideas? need an answer? No. Uh, the answer <laughs> is, and you'll know it when I say it, Othello. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. Confer 36. 36. 36. Yeah, you got it. A phrase meaning mouth of the muddy river gives us what name for the capital of Malaysia? Uh, Kuala Lumpur. Right? Yeah, you got it. It's Kuala Lumpur, and that gives you a total of 310 points. Let's meet the coach from Washington International School, Maya, who's along with you today. With us today is our great coach, Ms. Brennan. Hi, Ms. Brennan, how you doing? Hello, good. T tell us about your team. Oh, well, they're, they're wonderful. We're a new team. Um, Maya is our only veteran. Um, Sumner and Zach are new this year and they've just been working hard and doing a great job. Well, it's wonderful, you're good. You're, you're good guys. <laughs> and we're looking forward to doing this packet round. So thank you so much for being with us, Ms. Brennan. It's my pleasure. And now that we've met your coach, it's time to do the packet round, Washington International School. Here's the first question. Poet John Donne should appeal to geographers since he stated that no man is what type of landmass surrounded entirely by water. Conferring island. Uh, that sounds right. No man is an island, that is correct. Auto manufacturer Ransom Olds and not Henry Ford built the first car assembly line in his factory in what Michigan capital city? Detroit, Detroit, Detroit right? Yeah, final answer, Detroit. 
The answer is Lansing is the capital of Michigan. Here's your science question. North Equatorial Deep, Great Rift Valley, Marianas Trench. Which of these three places is the deepest part of the ocean floor? Inferring. Marianas Trench. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. The Marianas Trench, you're right. In 1898, the Tiflis Theological Seminary expelled what young man who became a brutal dictator and ruled Russia during World War II? Inferring Stalin. Inferring Stalin. Stalin, he went to theology school, like, who knew? In the 1930s, itinerant farm workers were the focus of works by what American author in novels like Of Mice and Men? Conferring Steinbeck. Steinbeck, yeah. Yeah, it's Steinbeck. Here is your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. Conferring 26. Uh, yes. 26. Yeah. A red circle on a green background marks the flag of what Asian country that was once East Pakistan? Its capital is Dhaka. Confirming Confirm. Bangladesh. Okay. Bangladesh it is. Great answer. I'm beating you to the punch there, Maya. <laughs> Good job. 350 points. On its academic lightning doesn't strike once. It doesn't strike twice. It strikes three times. We've got the lightning round next. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Students are getting involved in their communities in many important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. Hi, I'm Maya. I go to Washington International School, and what I'm doing to make a difference is I'm working with an organization called ENGINE, and through ENGINE, I meet with a Ukrainian student named Ava, and we work through her English skills just to improve her proficiency every week. So I'm just helping improve her fluency in the language. Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. This next round is really fast because it's the lightning round. As you know, you've got 45 seconds to answer as many as 10 questions. They're worth 20 points up or down, but nothing off if you pass. It's time for the lightning round Georgetown Day, and all of these questions are associated with the medal silver, or the word silver. In three, two, one. This is the chemical symbol for silver. Silver. Uh, AG, I think. Yes, a yeah. silverback is an adult male of this largest primate. Gorilla. Yes, gorilla, the gorilla. Silver Standard was supported by this 1896 Democratic presidential nominee. William Jennings Bryan. Yes, Correct. Bryan. Born Norrin Rad on planet Zenla. This Marvel Comics hero has this silver-linked name. Silver Surfer. Correct. Yep. This U.S. Silver State has Carson City as capital. Nevada. Yes, Silver Bank is a fishing area off this island that includes Haiti. Um, Santo Domingo. Yes, yeah, Santo Domingo. No, Hispaniola. For 30 pieces of silver, he betrayed Jesus. Judas. Uh, Judas. Yes. Judas. The Quest of the Silver Fleece was written. Oh, and that's time, but I'm going to read the whole question and give you the answer. The Quest of the Silver Fleece was written by this man with the first initials W E B. And you guys know the answer. It is. Du Bois. Du Bois. Yeah, very good. You also happened to know the answer for a previous question we didn't give you credit for. Silver Bank is a fishing area off this island that includes Haiti. You said Santo Domingo. We said Hispaniola. They're, they're both right. It was once known as Santo Domingo. So we're going to give you credit for that, which gives you a score of ding, 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 555 points. Way to go, Georgetown Day. Lightning strikes twice. Paul the Sixth, it's your turn for the lightning round. All answers in this round have something to do with gold. In three, two, one. This is the chemical symbol for gold. Hey, you. Yes, this mythical hero found the golden fleece. Jason. Yes, this African country was once known as the Gold Coast. Pass. Gone. Nana, this medieval science sought to turn base metals into gold. Alchemy. Alchemy. Yes, this mythical king had the golden Midas. Sword. King Midas. Yes, fool's gold is a pyrite of this ferrous element. Bet. Iron. Iron. 
1937, cars first drove over this San Francisco bridge. Golden Gate Bridge. Golden Gate yeah, Bridge. Yeah, do unto others as you would have others do Golden, unto you. Golden Rule. Golden yeah. Golden. This U.S. president ended the gold standard monetary system in 1933. Yes. Uh, FDR. FDR, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's FDR now because I know you said pass, but you came up right on the heels of it with the correct answer before I said anything. We're giving you credit for that. And similarly for iron. So, Paul the Sixth, you have a total of 470 points. Well done. Lightning strikes again on its academic. Time for the lightning round with Washington International School. Lady, gentlemen, all these questions deal with diamonds or words connected to diamonds in three two one it may rain diamonds on this planet eighth from the sun um pass, pass. pass. Neptune. <laughs> diamonds are made of this element carbon Arin. yes the largest blue diamond is this gem at the smithsonian the hope diamond hope yes, diamond one diamond is named for this city site of the taj mahal pass Agra, yeah. the diamond necklace affair affected this tragic French queen. Um, Marie Antoinette? Yes, one diamond is named for this organization founded by Clara Barton. Red Cross? Yes, the diamond back is a variety of this noisy, poisonous reptile. Hey. Yeah, just as the buzzer goes off, we get Snake the correct answer, which gives you a score of... 450 points, Washington International School, nicely done. Now that the competition is officially over, we will announce the scores next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. The scores are now official. We begin with Washington International School from Washington, D.C. Maya, Sumner, and Zach, 450 points. St. Paul VI Catholic School from Chantilly. Uh, Mike, Sophia, and Joe, 470 points. And coming back for the playoffs, Georgetown Day, Julius, Pierce, and Hank, 555 points. Great game, everybody. Please make sure you Come along next Saturday when we have Bishop Ireton, Richard Montgomery, and Westfield. I'm Hillary Howard. So glad you spent part of your Saturday with us. See you next time. Bye. I'm David Rubenstein reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. <laughs>